What if events went differently? And after his devastating duel with Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker found himself bonded with the Venom symbiote. Welcome back, my fellow watchers of the multiverse, to yet another intriguing what if scenario. Today, we're exploring a dark and twisted version of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Imagine a universe where Anakin Skywalker, left broken and defeated on Mustafar, encounters the powerful and malevolent Venom symbiote. How would this new power influence his transformation into Darth Vader? Would the symbiote's strength and aggression make him an even more formidable Sith? Or would it drive him to lose control completely? Let's dive into a world where Anakin Skywalker gains the Venom symbiote and see how this alternate scenario changes the fate of the galaxy. But before we begin, if you enjoy the infinity possibilities of the multiverse, consider supporting my content on Patreon as well as Substack for exclusive perks. Your support allows me to create even more content, dive deeper into these what-if scenarios, and push the boundaries of our imagination. So again, thank you so much for being a part of this journey, and let's explore this fascinating what-if together. Location, Spider-Man's Universe. Peter told Doctor Strange to cast the spell anyway. He knew the consequences and that everyone who ever knew him would forget about him. However, Peter knew that this was a small price to pay for the life of his friends and the whole world. His actions had affected the very fabric of his reality. Doctor Strange nodded sadly and cast the spell. Immediately, all the alien characters in their reality got sent back to where they came from. However, this was not the case with a particular being, the Venom Symbiote. Due to the uniqueness of the Symbiote and its ability to multiply and regenerate, it left a piece of itself in Peter's reality. However, this reality was not the only place the Symbiote landed on. As Venom and Eddie Brock made their way back to their reality, Venom dispatched parts of himself along the way. Quite interestingly, one of these parts made its way into the Star Wars universe. It landed on the volcanic planet, Mustafar. Location, Anakin's Chambers. Anakin was very disappointed and depressed because of the judgment the Council had given to him. Palpatine had told the Council to promote Anakin into a Jedi Master, but they refused. They told him that he was not ready. This really grieved him. To make matters worse, they ordered him to keep an eye on Palpatine. In other words, they told him to spy on Palpatine. Anakin did not know what the Jedi Council had against the Emperor, because to him, Palpatine was one of the kindest people he had ever met. However, what Anakin did not know was that there were still more troubles to come. This was because Anakin would go on to have nightmares that night. The nightmare would be of Padme Amidala. Anakin dreamt that she actually died during childbirth, and this greatly troubled him. He knew that as a Jedi he could have visions into the future, and this was why he was taking the nightmare very seriously, because it felt like a vision. Anakin decided that he would confide his vision with the person he trusted more, now Palpatine. Anakin knew that Palpatine was very wise, and he hoped that he had some nuggets of wisdom for him. A lot of things had happened since the nightmare. Anakin had told his visions to the Emperor, and quite interestingly, Palpatine told him there was a way to save Padme Amidala. Palpatine told him that it would involve the use of the dark side. Even though Anakin was a Jedi and he knew that the dark side was forbidden, he was conflicted at this point. This was because he really loved Padme Amidala, and he would do anything to save her. However, after more conversations with Palpatine, he discovered a shocking truth. Palpatine was Darth Sidious himself. 
Anakin had been so shaken by this information that he went to the only reachable Jedi Master, Windu. After this, they had abruptly stormed off to combat the Dark Lord. While they went, Anakin felt betrayed that Emperor Palpatine had been using all of them to fuel his dark schemes. This made him question whether he had a true relationship with the Dark Lord, or it was just plain manipulation. However, when both Windu and him had gotten the Dark Lord on his back, he did something unexpected. Windu was about to completely kill and destroy the Dark Lord, but Darth Sidious used the vision that Anakin had against him. He told Anakin that he had the power to make sure Padme Amidala would not die, and that was all he needed to hear. Anakin did not even think twice before using his lightsaber to chop off Windu's arm, which was proceeding rapidly to end Palpatine. After that, Windu was promptly killed by Darth Sidious, and he then made Anakin his new apprentice. Even though there were conflicted feelings running through the mind of Anakin, he forced himself to believe that he was doing the right thing, because he had to save Padme Amidala. Location? The volcanic planet, Mustafar. The symbiote was in deep trouble. It had landed on a planet where it could not really sense life near it. The Venom symbiote knew that without a host, it would die. This was why it continued its endless search for a host. However, moving around was so difficult because there was literally fire everywhere. The heat and flames made moving around very suicidal. The Venom symbiote soon became very weak and hopeless after some time. It then settled on a random volcanic stream bank to starve and die. The future looked very tragic for it. Location: Coruscant. Padme. Amidala was not having it with Obi-Wan and Yoda. Even though they had a lot of evidence, she refused to believe that Anakin had turned over to the dark side. Before they met her, Yoda and Obi-Wan had been expressing their sorrows and grief because of the damage Darth Sidious had done. They knew that Anakin was now Darth Vader and they were horrified when they learnt that after Darth Sidious had given Order 66, his apprentice led the movement. Order 66 meant that all the Jedi should be eliminated. This broke the hearts of both Yoda and Obi-Wan. They also got some intelligence that Anakin was at Mustafar, where he had killed a lot of people too, as instructed by Darth Sidious. Yoda and Obi-Wan had a lot of guilt in their hearts because they felt they should have anticipated this. They felt like fools because the Sith Lord had been with them for all this time and they did not know. Even if they had their suspicions, they never acted on it, and this action had claimed the lives of their fellow Jedi. When they met Padme Amidala, she was stubborn. She did not want to believe that her husband Anakin could do something like that. She wanted to see him by herself. She was sure that everything was just a huge and big understanding, that she would be able to change him. Against their better instructions, she had flown her ship to see Anakin at Mustafar. Obi-Wan also sneaked onto the ship. He had to make sure that no harm came to her. Also, Obi-Wan wanted to see with his own eyes whether it was true. Anakin was like a son to him, and he wanted to see with his two eyes whether he had truly gone to the dark side. Location, Mustafar. Padme. Amidala felt like she was getting somewhere with Anakin that he was going to change and come back to her. However, she never knew what he would do, because his expression quickly got dark. When she turned back to look at what he was looking at, her expression turned dark too. Obi-Wan was standing inside her ship. She had no idea that he was even on board. However, she had no opportunity to explain herself because Anakin used the Force to choke her. He derived her lungs from all the air in them and she shortly fell unconscious. After seeing this, Obi-Wan's mind was made up. Anakin had gone over to the dark side and he must be brought to justice. He immediately prepared for battle because he knew that Anakin was a very formidable opponent too. 
Anakin confronted Obi-Wan, but it was short-lived as the two men soon crossed lightsabers. They fought like they were very bitter rivals. Both Anakin and Obi-Wan employed the use of the Force, and it was a sight to behold. However, Anakin was not cautious. He had the mindset that he was the chosen one, that he was untouchable, and this was his downfall. They quickly descended into a volcanic stream, and Obi-Wan delivered the final blows as he had the high ground. He severed Anakin's limbs, using his lightsaber to cut him down. After this, Anakin screamed in pain, rolled towards the lava lake. It was over. Obi-Wan thought it was over, and he left his old friend for dead. For the Venom symbiote, it was a new beginning. It had given up hope of finding a host, but suddenly, it sensed Anakin's pain and rage. As the symbiote looked on to see Anakin being cut down before him, it used the opportunity after Obi-Wan left, taking Anakin's lightsaber to merge with him before he was engulfed fully into the flames. The symbiote regenerated all his limbs and healed him totally. However, Venom was hungry. It had been starving for days and now it wanted to feed. As if it was an answer to its prayer, Palpatine arrived and was very intrigued by the new entity before him as he saw Anakin in a strange black mass. Lord Vader, Palpatine said, a twisted smile forming on his lips. Anakin, now fully merged with the Venom symbiote, stood up, his eyes glowing with a fierce, unholy light. The symbiote's black tendrils rippled over his form, a dark aura emanating from him. Palpatine, Anakin's voice was a mix of his own and the symbiote's, deep and menacing. You have manipulated me for the last time. The Emperor's eyes narrowed. What are you saying, Lord Vader? Vader then attacked him. The Dark Lord was very amused, but impressed with the rage and vigor of the new entity. Because of this, he decided to engage Venom in a deadly duel. The battle between Venom and Palpatine shook Mustafa's volcanic landscape. However, Venom tapped into the symbiote's power and gained strength along with resilience. It was also very ferocious. Palpatine, on the other hand, was a master of the dark side, and he matched Venom's ferocity with Sith lightning and cunning. The one thing that intrigued Palpatine was that the creature could quickly regenerate and heal. The duel soon reached its climax, and Venom overpowered Palpatine momentarily. However, Palpatine was unfazed, and he used his mastery of the Force to trap Venom in molten lava. This was because he had noticed Venom's weakness to the flames. Venom, weakened and consumed by agony, separated from Anakin's body. Anakin was now freed from Venom's influence, and he lay battered and scarred on the ground. Surprisingly, Palpatine did not seem to notice him anymore. The Dark Lord was now very intrigued by Venom's power, and he retrieved the symbiote for further study. He told Anakin that he had fulfilled his purpose and that he did not have any more use for him. Palpatine departs, and all hope is lost for Anakin. He did not envision that he would die like this. Suddenly, Anakin felt himself being carried by someone. He started fading in and out of consciousness. However, he was shocked to see the face of Obi-Wan carrying him during the time he was fading in and out. Location, Coruscant. Obi-Wan had seen when the black swirling goo had started dragging himself towards Anakin. This was why he stayed back. He had watched the transformation of Anakin into Venom, and he had also witnessed the fight between him and Palpatine. When Anakin was lying there helpless and dying, his heart melted. He saw the little boy he had seen years ago dying. That was why he had helped Anakin. Currently, he was receiving treatment at the Jedi headquarters, but suddenly, Padme Amidala went into labor. It was tough, but Anakin surprisingly busted through the doors. His grave injuries looked as if they had faded away. This made Obi-Wan very weary, but he could not do anything as Anakin rushed over to his wife's side. He could feel that she was dying, 
and he held her hands because he could not let her go. What Anakin did not know, however, was that there was still a reserve of the Venom symbiote in him, and this symbiote passed on to Padme Amidala. The symbiote enabled her to give birth to the twins, whom she named Luke and Leia. What they did not also realize was that the symbiote was also present in the bloodstream of the twins. Because of Venom, Padme Amidala lived. Location, Darth Sidious's Dark Empire. Because of Palpatine, Venom died, and Carnage was born. The Dark Lord had used his evil mastery of the Force to achieve this feat. The Jedi Order was in no way ready for him and the destruction that he would wreak upon them. The night was filled with Palpatine's evil laughter as he had finally found something that could grant him real immortality and unlimited power. He was now bonded with the Carnage symbiote's madness. And that is going to be it for what if Anakin Skywalker bonded with the Venom symbiote on Mustafar. Now, it was a very interesting what-if scenario, and I really wanted to add a little bit of MCU into this video by adding in, you know, the symbiote coming from the spell with Doctor Strange. I think it would have been very interesting to see this actually happen, and I do want to say that I actually had a mini version of this scenario that came out about two years ago, and it was on Miss the Part Shorts. Do make sure to subscribe to that. But that scenario was up there for a very long time and I was like I can really dive more into this like I can do something completely different from what I did before and again I'm just very happy to finally have it out because the way that I always envisioned it was Anakin was on the brink of death on Mustafar where he was trying to crawl up after being burned and then all of a sudden the symbiote saves him I think it's just such an intriguing and interesting what if, especially with like what happens to Obi-Wan, what, hap what happens to like Emperor Palpatine, like there's so many different scenarios that you could really dive into. Another one that I actually want to do is uh, what if Luke Skywalker bonded with the Venom symbiote. I think that would be an interesting one where at the end of Empire Strikes Back, when he gets his hand chopped off, I think it would be cool if he bonded with the symbiote and then it's like very different like i don't know that's another scenario but if you guys want me to do it let me know in the comments down below but if you guys do enjoy these videos do make sure to subscribe like share and turn those notifications on so you and your friends are up to date with the latest content but thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day peace out